Hey travelers, welcome back to the walkthrough. In this episode, we're still waiting for the... What is it? We're still waiting for the nanites to kind of get to us through the living slime or is it the viscous fluids this time? Oh, it finished. Yeah, the viscous fluids, we're going to need to stack that. You know, get our nanites. We want a good portion of nanites before we start going out of the system because we're going to start buying upgrades here pretty soon. So let me see if I can just... Oh, I can't stack it yet because this hasn't become this yet. So put our 261 in. That will be in there for a little bit longer. Unfortunately, but that doesn't mean we can go ahead and not go out to the stars. But to go ahead and get you out there, this is what we're going to do. We're going to fly up the space... You can already see the interstellar travel. The galaxy map offers a wealth of information about nearby planetary systems. Browse nearby systems or available routes to choose your next destination. In space, access the galaxy map for the quick menu. Move along specific paths and browse your choosing of your own route. Warping requires warps or warp fuel in your hyperdrive. Some systems require hyperdrive upgrades in order to access. So what does that mean? So go ahead and press on at least on mouse and keyboard. It'll be M you to go to your galaxy map and this entire thing here is your galaxy map now the reason why you see the little uh, sections like that little line sections is because we have the setting for our destination to be the galactic core the galactic core is within that direction but if i go ahead and use the arrows to change i can put destination free explore those little lines go away and if you right click if you're on mouse and keyboard you can kind of just look around and see all the places that you can go to there's billions upon billions of systems wait where'd it go there right there and go in and out you can check a system that's all the way over here but you'll notice in the menu that we can't go that far if we go back here it lets us know that 26 light years an anonymous signal blocking warp that's because it's green. Anything that's green, red, or blue within those systems, we can't go to because we don't have the right upgrade in order for us to go to that um, system. If it's yellow, we're good. We can automatically go there. So if you want to know how many light years you need in order to go somewhere, you can go to your ship and look over to... Where are you? Hyperdrive range. Our hyperdrive range is 101 light years. That's it. That's as far as we can go unless we get the ship some upgrades. And when we get us some upgrades, we're going to want to tie it to the hyperdrive. Tie it to here, here, here. Since we don't have that much space, that'll start boosting our hyperdrive range up, which means we can go out a little bit further each time instead of having to go out once and then to another system, to another system, to another system until we're out of fuel. So going back to the galaxy map. And go ahead and choose our next destination while we're waiting. But, oh, hold on, I forgot to mention this. You can use R to expand, and once you've been to a system, you've been to its space station, and you've looked at the planets a few times, I don't know if you need to go that far, but you just need to land at the space station. But, it'll give you all this information about what race it is, its economy, its uh, conflict, you can see the power generation... Is the economy its sell its buy its medium supply which means it's only going to have about two stars so it's not going to be a place where we're going to find a lot of wealthy things at but it's a good start in order for you to start trading somewhere so if we're looking at power generation we need to find another place that will take power generation or i'm sorry no i got that wrong but we'll fix it i know exactly what to do Keep power generation in mind, though, because that'll lead you to the next system that we need to go to in order for us to sell some tech or whatever the space station requires us to do that. Since we're going to another GEC system, why not? It's not that far. Nice, we're in the next system. And if you've already sold a lot of your gold, silver, and what is it, platinum? Yeah, and your platinum. Then go ahead and start farming these. Main story kicking in. Starship monitoring systems report error. Guidance system malfunction. 
Searching for other routes. Searching. Searching. Don't worry about crashing. It's fine. We'll go right through it. Obtained. Destination in 16. Accept new guidance. We'll accept. Guidance accepted. Plotting route. So I will leave it up to you to do some farming if you went into a system that has an asteroid field as big as this. You could be here for a long time trying to get these, but we want to go to the space station. Or if you need to, clear a path. <laughs> it's like we're close enough to the station to land in it. So our mission is to follow the Starship automatic guidance, but we're going to go through a little bit of a trade sequence here to get you off early in the game to get you your first million or so. There's other ways to do it too. I just think this one is better when you have your hyperdrive because you're not stuck to one system. So if you look at this place, its economy is advanced materials. Oh, that's great. So if you go over to the terminal and we look at what they're so oh, what they'll what we can sell to them we're looking for things like star silk comet droplets ion spheres and teleport coordinators and what we can buy from them to sell at another spot is nano tube crates self-repairing heridium and optical solvent 5d torus self-conducting fiber now it looks like oh we don't have the money to do those kind of type of things but you can you can now with the portal here, we can go to two spots now. We're able to go to... Huh, that's not our base. We can go to our base here, but if you don't see the space station right away, go to space stations. Huh, that's weird, because we've used that portal at the space station, and I guess we'll have to go to our own base. We'll go back to base, and then we can go back to the space station, even though that sounds like a little too much to do already. We're still in the... We're still in the storyline, the main storyline, guys, so... A lot of this won't be pretty smooth until we start doing the missions. Okay, we discovered it. Go ahead and do that. Go back to the portal, and it should... Alright, there's our current system. Go back to the space station, see what the space station needs. So we can sell to them... Fusion accelerants, decommissioned circuits, welding soap, ion capacitors... You can buy from them spark canisters, industrial grade batteries, ohmic gel, and experimental power fluid. Now, because of the snag we just went into, we can't go to and from space stations to kind of run a loop. All we can do right now is just kind of go to the mission, finish that up. Can't directly go to the space stations. That seems kind of horrible. This is our approximate location. Look to see if there's any buildings around. Anything like minor settlements. If not, if it's a little icon on the ground that we can't see, you might as well just land wherever you feel like. So I'm not seeing anything. There's no buildings nearby. We'll go ahead and land. Well, it turns out I was looking for a monolith. We'll just go right up to it. We should have reached our... Ooh. Yeah, we should have reached our destination already. Which means you can go ahead and start scanning. So I wait for her to stop talking. So you're able to still do this. And if you get everything that's needed in the system, you can still gather nanites. All right, I'm sorry, not the system, the planet. Once you scan everything on the planet, you get nanites while also receiving units. And you can go ahead and bump up the scanner range, as well as what you get from scanning with S-Class modules. We can also talk about X-Class modules, which you can get from pirate systems if you decide to go to a pirate system. But there are a few requirements to find those kind of systems in order for you to kind of land there. Which means you'll need a conflict scanner, you'll need an economy scanner. You just need those two things and then you're ready to go, but we won't be seeing those until a little bit. As I stare at it, words from themselves in my mind. A strange fragment of broken speech. Is it traveler? Is it friend? You can choose either one. It doesn't matter. 
It feels strange responding to questions I am unsure that I am being asked. But something has clearly taken notice of my reply. I am overwhelmed by a sense of something has awoken. Something is watching me. It forms another question. Is it first? Is it last? Again, that one too. You can just pick whatever you want. I don't know how I'm being spoken to. This monolith is ancient, and I cannot escape the feeling it has asked these questions many times over. I, it asks again. They have seen the crimson eye. Has the crimson eye then? Or has the crimson eye seen them? It has seen the eye. I could have chosen both. I didn't see that until the last minute. Likelihood of anomaly exceeds safety parameters breach detected. Alert. Alert. The boundaries fall. The walls collapse. Your universe awaits. Find us. Traveler. Hey, we got a warp cell. Awesome. Because I wasted one earlier. Go over to the language stones. Get a little bit of knowledge if you're going for that standing for your faction. And by your faction, I mean the factions that you chose that you want to go ahead and start getting standing in. It doesn't matter which one. You can do it from all. Or you can do them all if you want to. Let's see, where's a good place to land the ship at? I'm not going to run all the way back over there. Let's see, did that finish our mission? Monolith reveal a strange message, the boundaries fall, the walls collapse, you never wait to find this traveler in space, use the galaxy map to search for clues. Looks like Awakenings is done, let's go ahead and give the ship what it needs, and in the next episode we're going to search for more of those clues. This is Azeroth. Go beyond, traveler. <laughs>